anybody who's ever played live and uh, played through a guitar amplifier that only goes forward, the, the beauty of this is the sound is multidimensional with having a single source. Uh, you, you get sound all over the room and you get a spatial sound that, that is second to none. Hi, this is Tino again with Bluesy News Magazine, and I am here at Aspen's Place Recording in beautiful San Fernando, California, with the founder of Groove Tubes and the inventor of Centerpoint Stereo, Aspen Pittman. And Aspen has a talented artist that he would like to introduce to you all and uh, have demo his Centerpoint Stereo system. Cool. Tito, thank you very much, um, and welcome everybody back to our little humble studio. Uh, today I've got one of my best friends in life, Michael Boddicker, who's a phenomenal artist and has been with me for so many years as I've developed this uh, Cinderpoint stereo product for keyboard amps, uh, all keyboards being stereo, most keyboard amps being mono, that was for me the challenge, and uh, we are on version 3 now, Michael has had all the other versions, and he's been in, in, a big influence in me in, in continuing to develop this product. Uh, Michael will be playing through a Privio uh, a, a piano, Privio piano by Casio Company. It's a stereo engine supreme, as most of these are today. Uh, there are no transmissions, and the transmission we're using today is the Space Station. It's a powered stereo monitor. This is V3. It's the third version. And I'll just show you that the keyboard is plugged directly into the space station. There's no mixer or equalizer involved. Uh, it has a level, a level control, and it has a width control that allows me to control the width of the stereo content. I'll demonstrate that quickly in a moment. It also has, a new one has a tri-amp system, so we have a mid-horn and a tweeter that we can control the level of. It's a tri-amp front speaker, 8-inch, 1-inch coax, mid-driver, and a super tweeter, neodymium magnet super tweeter. So, that said, I'm going to just real quickly ask, first of all, welcome, Michael. Thank you so much for coming. My pleasure to be it's involved. It's always a great day when you show up here. And, uh, but I, but just real quickly, I wanted to show him that width control, and then maybe you could talk a little bit about the box. Now, that's what the width control said about 12 o'clock is my usual suggestion. I'm going to turn it off. We'll try it again. Version 3 is it has a, a greatly expanded range. You hear the clarity? Top end, low end. Nice, rich, full. If you need to compete with the guitar player and turn it up a little bit, you can. punch, but it has an even tone throughout. Uh, the other part that I really enjoy, and why I'm so excited that Aspen's continuing to develop this, is because when I play my piano at home, the sound comes out all over the instrument. When I play my B3 and my Leslie, the sound comes all around the room. When I play through a guitar amplifier with my synthesizer, it just goes forward. This has 300 degree dispersion, so uh, I get the same effect as though I'm playing a real instrument in the room. I have an acoustical effect. The, the other part of that is it's not a stereo effect where you need to be in the middle of a sweet spot. You actually can move around the room and you still get that multi-dimensional effect. You still get movement and width even if you're standing all the way off to the left all the way off to the back right, right up by it, doesn't matter. You still get the, the, the really nice spread. I'd like
like to just ask you, is there a Hammond B3 sound in this device? Yet? That's not bad. Now let me try that with control again. stage, uh, your typical backline or something like that, or even if you're going to use two stereo monitors on either right. side, it's good for you, it's good for you, but not the whole audience. I think the, the fun thing is that what about this box is, is you as the artist, when you're mixing and playing based on this monitor, it's the same sound everybody's hearing, uh, which is very enjoyable. Everybody in the band hears what you're hearing. I, I like it because I, again, I feel like I'm more of an acoustic instrument, mm -hmm. uh, like a uh, an upright bass that radiates sound all the way around, a drum set that radiates sound all the way around, uh, instead of something that's just shooting straight forward. So it gives me a chance to feel like I'm a real, uh, that my synthesizer or my uh, electric keyboard is a real acoustic instrument. Yeah. <laughs> For the recording engineers in the group, I'd just like to mention that the way we're recording this right now is through an MS stereo recording system. I've got one of my Groove Tube 67 mics in figure eight. I've got one of my GT40 mics in a directional pattern, cardioid, and that is what was called mid-side recording. It's been used for years for stereo. It's the basis on most little mini cams that work. We take a mid and a side Microphone, we put them through a network and we create the left and the right. And that was the inspiration, by the way, as you may have known from watching the earlier videos, uh, for our mid-side speaker. The mid-speaker being all the components of the left and the right that are coming out of the piano. And everything that's different, which would be the left and the right difference, uh, is separated, goes to a separate amp, and it goes to the side speaker down here. So those two speakers, two amplifiers in one place, make stereo everywhere. Actually, it's bigger than stereo. <laughs> We enjoy you. Thank you. Yes, you and we've enjoyed the day, too. Thank you, Aspen. Again, thank you, Michael, uh, for demoing the system. Nice